Hello everyone, this is Namrita from Koshali Creations. Uh, here I am with you all to try out the new range of chalk paints brought out by Craft Junction. Um, these are, I have just turned the bottles upside down so that you can have a look at the colors. These are very nice colors, very chalky. Uh, they have a range that is bright, medium toned and uh, pastels. So it more or less goes around and suits most of the projects that we would want to try as crafters. I have a small uh, swatch that I have done here. Uh, the coverage is pretty good, uh, spreads well, spreads evenly and the finish is very nice. You know, the kind of chalky finish, the matte finish that we look for in a cheap chalk paint is very much there. Uh, these are some colors that I have and I am experimenting on a home decor project uh, using these colors. Uh, through the project, whatever other products that I've used could be the gesso, could be the medium, the brushes are all available on the Craft Junction site. You can reach out to them, talk to Palakji. The, that, the entire team is very helpful on hand. They have all the information, they'll help you right out. Okay? I'll just show you uh, the colors that I have here. This one is Sweet Lavender. Uh, this is ruby red and uh, berry blue. This is uh, the evening rose, uh, Irish eyes, midnight black. I must say, I actually love this black and I have tried it on a couple of mediums. I have also tried it on air dried clay and I must say it is really, really nice. The kind of coverage I've got with this. Uh, it's really nice. I've loved the finish that uh, this particular color is given. I'll be using this later as well. And uh, then is Sundress. This is a very nice uh, off-white uh, tinge. There's a Choco Splash and a Field of Flowers. Lovely colors. Uh, more about it when we go through our small home decor test project that we do. And uh, here we go. This is a small uh, MDF board that I have. This has been primed, right? Post priming, what I have done with this is, this has been colored. There is a, a variation in the color. It's just randomly colored. And I have used one step crackle medium over these colors. Post this, what I'm going to do is, I am going to use a uh, the sundress give it the top coat and then go ahead with the further project whatever kind of brushes you're looking for everything is available just hop onto the site they have uh, the contact numbers you can get through them talk to them and you will have whatever you need sent to you Uh, so post the crackle medium dries up I have done one coat of decoupage on this uh, this tissue again is from craft junction you have an ample of choices to make from there are loads of tissues available you can choose whichever suits you uh, the decoupage has been done and then I have stenciled out uh, home is where heart is and the, the corners are also stenciled out uh, these stencils are again from uh, Craft Junction itself. There are loads of options available there. There are the small size 3x3s and then there are the larger ones that you can use for bigger home decor projects. I'm just distressing the edges with the same color. So here it is. I've distressed the rest of it. There's small stenciling done. There is a shadow stenciling effect that's given here. And this is a, a air dry clay Buddha that's hand sculpted. So here is the total piece ready. The hero of this is definitely the chalk paints. If I can bring this closer to you, you can see the cracks that are so lovely. Yeah. Uh, 
the upper coat doesn't overpower and the colors seem to flow through the cracks beautifully i really would like if you could appreciate this because the uh, there are times when you know when you give the top coat uh, it kind of overpowers the colors below it doesn't give you that nice crack effect but with this chalk paint i think it's lovely i have just loved the cracks that have come through i hope you like this video and i would also suggest you definitely try out the the chalk paints and let us know how you like them thanks for being with me bye bye